This is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're all okay. I don't know what stage of lockdown you're in, whichever country you're in. In the UK, we're still pretty severe lockdown. Um, I'm counted as one of the more vulnerable people, so I have to stay in and not socialise. Well, not nobody's socialising, but I'm not really allowed out at all, apart from an hour to exercise every day. Been for me hours walk today. Beautiful, beautiful. Found some bluebell woods within um, walking distance of our house the other day. Who knew? Um, so that was a nice surprise. So we've been walking there a couple of days a week. Um, but anyway, my project today is this little project, this little card here, which is made with my all-time favourite ever beautiful bouquet. I have to say that this packaging does not do this set uh, credit. You need to go onto Pinterest and Google beautiful bouquet stamping up. There's so many beautiful samples made with this set. I can't tell you. I'll be so sad to see it go. I've made quite a lot. I've used it quite for, for a change for me. I, this is a set that I've used an awful lot. But anyway, this card that I'm making today was made for a colour challenge, a blog hop colour challenge. And the challenge was to use Granny Apple Green, So Saffron, Highland Heather and Rococo Rose. And I thought that this one showcased quite nicely. I wanted to keep it quite simple. When I'd done it, I was quite set ten tempted to add things to the centres and I thought no no I'm just going to leave it plain I'm not going to do that so it's quite simple stamping with a little bit of layering um but I quite like it now because this was a colour challenge I had to use those colours but because I'm now just doing the video to show you how I made it I don't need to do those colours so I can use my own choice so I am going to be using purple posy love 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 this colour such a shame we haven't got the ink but love the cardstock um, and then I'm going to use a little trio of matching cuts, coordinating colours. I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Rococo Rose, and my green is going to be Pear Pizzazz because it's a little bit more subtle than Granny, Granny Apple Green, which is what I want. And I've got a whole array of stamps here from the set that I'm going to use although it's simple stamping using quite a lot luckily I've got a lot of clear blocks but of course you don't need all these clear blocks you could just have one and just put the stamps on and take them off but because for quickness I t tend to try and load mine onto to blocks before I come on camera so let's get started so like I say this set is going to be retiring so if you like it don't hang around because it won't be here for much longer you've got May got um the rest of april and the re and may to buy it and then it will be gone 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 and i for one will be so so sad i'm just hoping i can find something in the new catalog to become my new all-time favorite there we go so normal size cut um card blank size for me um 21 by 15 scored so sometimes i do 15 sometimes i do 14 and a half centimeters um and then scored at 10 and a half um it's a funny measurement a4 card well, this is not quite straight okay maybe it wasn't a straight piece of card I just took this straight out of my um my box of bits so maybe it wasn't straight to start with so i'm gonna line that up before i do anything else i don't know if you can see but that's not quite square there so i'm going to come in with my mini trimmer and just make sure my card blank is square before we start the straight i don't want another thing that i think makes cards look very unprofessional is when the card blanks aren't quite scored and cut properly there we go that's nice that's a nice card blank now okay so what we're going to do we're going to do the flowers first of all so got a piece of cardstock here I'm going to stamp all three onto here and then cut them down into their panels so I'm going to start with this stamp here which has got lots and lots oh that's the wrong one that's not the stamp that's not the, the um sorry guys that's not the one I want um let's put that away no that's not the one I want oh can't work out which oh I oh oh I've got them all I've got I've got too many oh I thought I was thinking now I've got them all out so I just don't need that one oh let's put that one away so we don't get confused oh sorry it is very late on a Sunday afternoon I should be resting I think um right let's put that one away okay let's start again we're going to start with this one okay so it's got three little stems at the top there so we're going to come in with with um pear pizzazz 
and we are going to stamp that. Oh, my phone folder wants to come in on it as well. Right, I'm hoping this tab pad doesn't look very inky. Might need re, -re inking. Um, let's give it a try though for today, and we're going to stamp that there. Can be careful not to rock because I've got um, ink on either side, so I don't want to get that. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with the next stem that we're going to use. We're going to leave plenty of space. There's that one, and then this one is a stem on its own. And then two long thin leaves, which are very reminiscent of tulip leaves, which is what this is going to be. Oh, that wasn't very good. Never mind. Turn that round and do one. There we go. Right, okay, so that's all the green I think we need. Oh, no, it's not. On this one here, I just came in with the little leaf shape and because I thought it looked a bit bare and I wanted to fill it out a little bit, so I just came in with some little leaves and filled that up a little bit like so there we go right okay i'm doing not make i'm making a bit of a mess of this today hey ho right okay so this one we are gonna oh no this one we're gonna do first okay we're gonna take the little this is my one of my favorite flowers from the set and actually i'm gonna do this in the cocoa rose i think There we go. So we've got to put, stamp three of these. I will try and line them up a bit better than I've lined up the... There we go. One there. One there. And one there. There we go. That's that one done. So quite a simple little card to make. Let's do Highland Heather. I'm going to do this flower in Highland Heather. This six petal. I was going to say five petal, but that's got six petals. I'm not sure what kind of flower it's meant to be. There we go. Oh, covered my smudge up. That's quite good. I think I put the put the leaves on the wrong one here <laughs> I'm not making a very good job of this actually I might go back then and put some more leaves on there which will actually fill it out which might make it look a bit more even um yeah the leaves the leaves were meant to go on this one hey ho I hope you get a good giggle out of watching my videos obviously not really with it today it's quite a warm day in the, the UK making me a bit sleepy there we go right and the last one let's get this one right is the tulip and this is going to be in gorgeous grape where's my tulip there it is so this is going to be quite a dramatic tulip there we go right now i've got to cut each of these little panels down to nine centimeters by four centimeters so fortunately, I can use my little trimmer, although that's not going to fit through, so I'm going to have to trim it down a little bit first. Let's just trim it down a little bit first. And then I can use my little trimmer. I do find this little trimmer so helpful. I don't know if you're one of the people that joined Stamping Up during celebration. I hope you're finding this little um term trimmer useful like i am right okay so now this needs to be four centimeters so we need to cut it at four but that's going to be too far over so i'm going to so i'm just doing this by eye i'm going to do it there i'm going to turn it around again trim a little bit more off the other side so what you want is sort of the, the, the image to be in the centre of the panel, really. 
there we go and then this needs to be nine and at the minute it's nearly ten so we'll just trim a bit off there and a bit off there yeah i think my pear pizzazz um does need oh doesn't that look gorgeous together those colors <gasps> lovely love 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 those colors um right now we're going to do this one so again i'm going to do it roughly so that would be four that would be too far over so i'm going to trim down i'm going to trim to there I'm going to go back and trim a little bit off this side again. There we go. You see how easy it is to manipulate this little trimmer. And this needs to be at nine. So I'm just going to trim that off there. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Lovely. Oh, this is so much more my colour scheme than the other one. Um, and then this one. I wonder if you're like me. I love I love purple and pink colourways. Have to be might I say them probably my favourite. There we go. And then so I'm just cutting all these down to four by nine. I think they'll all look nice when they're all lined up. Right, so this is a bit of a taller one than the other ones. So it's gonna be quite near the bottom. There we go. Right, okay, looking forward to this. Right, okay, so let's pop that away. So we're going to come in with the Tombow. Get rid of all of these as well. And the little bits and pieces. Right, I'm going to do the Rococo Rose one in the middle, flanked by the other two, like so. And I'm going to take my Tombow. Oops. There we go. And there we go. I really should be out in the garden when it's a beautiful day today and apparently the weather's going to turn this week but I had promised myself I would spend the day doing videos today so here I am doing videos there we go lovely oh I do like this colour scheme just trying to think what colour strip I'm going to do across I think I might do Highland Heather I haven't got that out ready, ready to use yet but luckily for me nearly everything I need is within reaching distance of where I sit one of these days I'll do a craft room tour but I keep waiting because before lockdown I was waiting to have my craft room decorated it's a very very small little room it's, it's a bit grand to call it a craft room to be honest it's actually it's actually the utility room so we have the washing machine and the tumble dryer in here and a sink um, but it's it's fairly big utility room, so I have turned it into my craft room and crammed as much stuff as I possibly can in here. Um, and it's reasonably organised, but it's not very organised, and it's re it really needs a good decorate. It's really grimy and really... So I keep putting it off, but actually it's taking so long to get round to it, and now with the coronavirus, I can't imagine you know managing to get it done this year to be honest so maybe i should just do a craft room tour anyway and show you because i have i don't know whether some of you know i have two business two craft businesses so i have my stamping up business which is obviously what i'm doing now but i also have a some shops on um, etsy and folksy which are selling handcrafted things and i make cards i do quilling which is um manipulating strips of paper into shapes um and I sell those on Etsy and Folksy. So some of the stuff in my craft room is for stamping up and some of it is for my quilled cards. Right, so let me find a piece of... This is my box of, in, of Subtle's scraps. So I'll give you an insight how I keep my scraps. So is that piece long enough? Not quite. Oh, I like it though. I do love Highland Heather. One of my favourite colours. Oh, that's long enough. That's great. That's all I need. Uh, 
Um, yeah, what do you reckon? Yeah. Okay, this is one and a half centimetres. It needs to be one and a half centimetres by 15. The mini, mini um, won't let me cut to 15. It's not quite big enough, so I'll do that on here. The other thing about the mini is it's great for, for videoing because it all fits on the screen. Right, there we go. And this needs to be cut down to one and a half, which is a bit tricky because it's just there, but actually you can just line it up with the brown. There's a brown line going there and you can just line it up. Make sure you press hard on the plate because otherwise it will move as you cut it and it won't be straight. And there we go. Oops. So that's my strip going across here. Yeah, a bit further up there. So slightly longer than I need. As usual, I'm going to just trim it off when I'm done. My daughter, and my oldest daughter, who's 26, was supposed to be getting married in September. Um, and she she left her job a couple of months before lockdown, um, and she's been tra retraining to be a, a a web designer on computers, and um, was just getting some leads on getting a job when lockdown started. So all that stopped, unfortunately. And anyway, the wedding was planned for the 12th of September, and obviously we haven't been able to do any of the planning. We haven't been able to see and go and see anyone or. So, sadly, today she finally made the decision that she's going to um, postpone the wedding, which I'm quite sad about and means we'll lose a little bit of money. Not too much money, I have to say, but a little bit. But I think it's a good decision because actually nobody seems to know what's going to happen at the end of this, how we're going to come out of this lockdown. So, I think rather than un stagger uncertainly towards September... Um, we've made the decision now to postpone and I don't know when she'll rebook it for sometime next year hopefully um, hopefully when we can have a big fart party without danger of anybody infecting anybody else um, would be nice wouldn't it right so what have I done I printed in so while I'm yabbering on here I've used a different centre so on this one I use thanks a bunch let me get it. Um, which is from the beautiful bouquet set. This time I'm using Happy Birthday, which I'm hoping will just about fit into, oh, just about, yeah, into the one and three eighths scalloped oval punch. These two are retiring, I'm sad to say. Don't know if they're still in stock. I would have thought as soon as people realised they were going, they might have wanted to get their hands on them. They're so, so useful. It's another product that I'm really going to miss. There we go. I do, sometimes you kind of have to question Stampin' Up's theory about retiring stuff. I, I understand that, you know, they need new stuff, so they need people to keep buying, otherwise they wouldn't be in business. Um, but some of the staples, like these punches, they've been so, so useful. And then they retire them. And I think anyone who's a beginner, this would be one of the first things I'd buy if I was a beginner. Hey-ho, not for me to question why. There we go, and that's going to go in the middle there. So I'm just going to take some dimensionals and pop them on the back here. There we go. Oop, got an extra little bit there. Didn't really need that one, but hey-ho. Take off the backing. been doing an awful lot of baking while we've been um, in lockdown. I'm really going to have to stop. It'll be the size of a house by the time we leave. Made banana bread today because we had some bananas that had gone a bit too ripe for me to eat. So I used them up by making banana bread. Not really a great idea when you're trying to lose weight. Right, anyway, there we go. That's my card. I hope you love it. I love that colour scheme so much more. I don't, I don't mind this one, but I love the lilacs a lot more. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, I don't know if you can see, I've got a tiny smudge there, so I'm going to have a think about whether to put some little little gems scattered on it. 
just to cover up that little splodge because that, that will annoy me. And I certainly wouldn't feel like sending it to anyone with that little tiny slot splodge on it. So watch this space. When it appears on my blog, you might find that it's um got a, got a couple of gems in there. All right. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I might actually do something for inside as well. I'm not going to do it now on camera, but I might do something for inside it as well. Forgot to do. I always forget to do that when I'm on camera. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to buy anything, if you want to get your hands on the beautiful bouquet, you can go down below and there's a link to my shop. Um, and it should still be in there. Don't think they've reduced the beautiful bouquet stamp set. They might have I think they've reduced the beautiful bouquet, the, the dies that go with this set. So together they'd be quite a bargain. Um, and like I said, the scallop circle and the little circle punches as well, they're going. So if they're still in the shop, you might want to get those too. And anyway, don't forget, all of my customers, if you shop with me, you can use my hostess code, which will be on my blog page, linked to this video. Um, and then I'll send you some free product um uh, next month it's sometimes occasionally i get enough orders to be able to send everyone a stamp set and that's not usual sometimes you get a, an embossing folder sometimes you get a pack of embellishments sometimes you get um, a share of a, a, a pack of um designers series paper pattern paper just depends um so you never know what it's going to be but it's always something nice so and i always send a handmade card and a little handmade hand wrapped gift a little chocolate bar that's hand packaged or something like that as well so if you'd like to receive one of those don't forget to place your orders thanks very much and i'll see you soon bye